what what do what do these girls want? And I think this was the important element. Uh, Einhold brought that to the company. The girls want something which is specific for them. They just don't want to wear a sneaker. They want to wear an aerobic shoe. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that as a as a company, we uh, we recognise that. Let's make this nice shoe which is all white with just the, the name on the side and the Union Jack, which just brought a bit of colour to it. And they love them. In fact, they love them so much, they didn't just uh, do the aerobics in them. They, 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 went, they went to work in them. They put their heels in the bag and they, they were so comfortable that uh, going down to, to the job, they would, they would wear the aerobic shoe. So they became, I think, they were really the first shoe that really made, a, made the street that big. And because we only made them in women's sizes, uh, the men the men were looking on and saying, <clears throat> "Why, why can't we have a pair? You know, they, they're they're so comfortable these women." And, and and eventually we did we didn't make the aerobic shoe in uh, in soft leather, but what it did it brought soft leather into fitness shoes and uh, into tennis shoes. And that made a difference because up till then, the leather that uh, had been used on sports footwear was quite hard. It, uh, and it possibly, you know, it, it sort of took the normal sort of shoe leather that you would get on street shoes and just made it white. But uh, the idea of putting soft leather in there was something that Reebok brought to the sports footwear industry. And everybody loved that. And so it was designing things nice and soft, specifically for your your particular sport. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, we expanded from there into uh, basketball, into American football and uh, tennis. Mm -hmm. And the, then the brand grew to $4 billion. Mm 